Hi, it's Alex from Self Empowered Hearts and I welcome you from beautiful Australia. I'm in Victoria at the moment. And today we're going to talk about five steps to believe in yourself. I think this is so important because this is something that comes up quite often when we are doing something that's new, maybe a new project, when we're in our businesses and doing something that we're not sure about. Um, and sometimes it could be that we're just not, it's a day, we're having an off day and just not believing in what we're doing and why we're doing it and getting into that cycle and thought process, thought pattern so today I want to go through these five steps and you can pick which one suits you try them out see which one really you find really you enjoy doing you may find that there's a few of them it may be all of them and just this to remember that you don't have to do all of them to to believe in yourself and um, you know maybe one or two that you feel you really enjoy and maybe that you feel that that's the best for you so let's get right into it so number one is know your why so for example if it's something that you're doing uh, so especially like if it's your business or if it is a project that you're doing why is it that you're doing it so when you remember why you do it, that's when we can go towards what it is that we enjoy about it, what, what it is that makes us fulfilled and excited about it and working with that energy rather than it being going into the disbelief. So when we feel that why then we, it can pull us out and we're not feel so caught up. So that's number one. Number two, it goes into with number one, is just to feel the fear and just go with it and do it anyway. So you just use that energy, so that excitement, that that drive that makes you feel that you wanting to do it in the first place, but then use that excitement and go with that rather than go in with the energy that you're feeling currently with disbelief. Thirdly, is trust what you know. It's amazing to know that there's loads of people out there that know a lot of things that you do not know. And that is something I, I tell my clients often, is that there is things that they know that not necessarily other people know. So you're helping that person to go from A to B. And it may be that you are, you know, it could be your consulting or if you're coaching, or even if it is like a project that you're doing, that it's if you're giving the information out or that you're doing something that's maybe helping others, being a service to other people. So just remember when you're ever doing your work that you know you're helping them, you're being of service to, to others and helping them fulfill what they're wanting to do and also that you are giving them the tools and techniques if it is something like consulting or coaching or if it is that you're giving them the gift or whatever it is, if it is um, techniques or things like that that you, you're, you're you're doing in your service and then fourthly is to be inspired by other people sometimes I find that people can get a little bit consumed in about seeing other people but I generally find that it's very inspiring that when we are we see other people that are doing what we, we are wanting to do it's just to, to let them show you that they, it is possible they're showing you the path how they've done it and that you're no different from them and that you can do it too so with that disbelief just to show that that belief that if they can do it why can't you because at the end of the day is, is that it's, there is things that you're learning now that is moving you forward to getting where they are and we do hear about people's successes and what they do but we don't necessarily know the struggles and the challenges that they go through so just to remember just to be gentle with yourself so that's the fifth one is just to be gentle with yourself and be kind to yourself so even though you're feeling like this now 
if you're in with disbelief that you're not believing in yourself and your abilities and what you can do just be kind and gentle with yourself so if that is just to speak to yourself nicely if that is just to shake it off like sometimes i i end up just dancing it off just shaking off the energy if it is that i'm feeling a bit stuck in in, in disbelief and also is that to just move find an action that can move you forward from where you your your where you are so that could be just it be that you speak to a friend it could be that you are you, if it's in business you're you you're chasing up or calling someone that is a perspective or it could be that you are you're you're e replying back to an email to someone that you've been in contact with that you to work with them on an, on the next project so just see what steps it could be that you can move yourself forward so that where you are now that you can move yourself just slightly away from those feelings and just as I say just be kind to yourself because sometimes we can just get so caught up on being hard on ourselves that we're just ending up going round and round in circles and it doesn't get us anywhere so just stop yourself and just remember that you there is a reason why you're here and that it is that you have got a gift and if if you don't believe in yourself then I truly do because I just think that everyone has an opportunity a chance uh, ability and uh, everything that is possible it's just sometimes we just can't see that it is in front of us so sometimes we just get caught up with our emotions and feelings so I'm just wanting you to know that you can do it and no matter what sometimes goes up in here that sometimes you just need to remove those thoughts and feelings and it's not an easy process and it sometimes is that we can get caught up with our heads and not going towards what is positive and as again just allow yourself to feel it and move on, move on through it that it's not there in your life anymore that you're moving from it that how you are now is not necessarily how you're going to be say next week or next month or even next year so it's a, it's a learning curve and it's just part of this journey that is moving you forward to the next stage so i hope you've enjoyed this video and i'll speak to you soon Bye bye